six, beginning with Fred Dodsworth and then going to Susan Wengraff. And this question comes from the audience, from the crowd, from you guys. Uh, many questions, and this actually, Deborah uh, has touched on this, um, actually, and Mark just did as well. I'm part of this. Uh, many questions asked about affordable housing, performing spaces, and live workspaces for artists in Berkeley. How can you improve this situation? I have a dear friend who has a live workspace down on 4th Street, and every time her lease comes up, it goes up. And she's not sure she's going to be able to live here much longer because her space is not rent controlled. So she is at the whim of the owner, the new owner who bought, not the original owner. She's lived there for 30 years. We need to look at housing for artists where it already exists. Some of you know of the Sawtooth building. That is an incredible space that's owned by a fellow who lives in Marin. I've met him. The Planning Commission had a tour. We went and met him. They are there by his pure grace alone. If that man dies, and he will die because he is old, his heirs <laughs> may not be so generous. And that's a huge space that wants to be developed by a big out-of-town developer from L.A. or St. Louis, Missouri. We need to do what the Planning Commission suggested 10 years ago. We need to acquire sums to acquire those buildings, to rehab them for the artists who are living there now so that they have a place in our future. So we need to explore creative solutions. Um, I recently met with some housing experts to explore ways that we could uh, build housing or repurpose older buildings for artists. There's a project in San Francisco that's pretty inspirational called the Minnesota Project, uh, where they found an angel who was willing to buy a building and renovate it for artists and keep it affordable. We, we need to look for solutions like that. Um, but we also need uh, not only to keep the artists here, and I suspect that many of them have already left, uh, but those that are here and can stay here, that's great. But we also need to find a way to attract the new generation of artists to Berkeley. And how are we going to do that? We also need to find a way to keep our patrons of the arts in Berkeley. If any of you have ever gone to the symphony, you'll notice what color hair everybody has. <laughs> okay, those people have no place to go. Most, many of my friends have had to leave Berkeley. Um, so, Patrick's there giving me his fingers again. Um, anyway, there was a wonderful guy, Doug Hurst, who had a project for artists in West Berkeley. The zoning didn't allow him to move forward. We need to re-examine our zoning in West Berkeley and see how we can make it work for artists. Thank you. So I